Hello everyone, I'm Joe DeLongwear and today I'm going to be talking about all the products I will be using this year for my fall overseed at my house here in New Jersey. So let's get started. So we're approaching the fall overseed time here in New Jersey. I will be throwing down over Labor Day weekend. That works best for me because 10 to 14 days after Labor Day weekend is when my soil temperatures fall out of the 70 degree mark. There's a really great cool, uh, tool out there. It's called the Greencast uh, tool. It calculates your soil temperatures. It has a current temperature, a five year average, and a 10 year average. Um, you wanna go off of your five year average and basically go out five years take the five year average to when you hit your seven degree mark and then take that back 10 to 14 days and that's when you really want to throw down your grass seed. Um, Alan Hain, he put out a really great free uh, seed guide. Um, I'll leave a link below uh, so you guys can check that out. I highly recommend you check out that free uh, seed guide that he put out. Um, it has a wealth of knowledge in there um, from throwing down uh, grass seed to pre-emergent if that's something that you do. Um, I do not do that because I don't put herbicides in my lawn. Um, I strictly just put down fertilizer and grass seed and water and biostimulants and that's it. But I definitely check, check out that guide. Um, it will help you. Uh, it will answer a lot of questions as well that I don't answer here today. In my personal opinion, there are five things that you really need for a great fall successful overseed. And the first thing, of course, is grass seed. So when your temperatures are falling to that 70 degree mark, which is very key for good germination, you want a good quality grass seed. I have two really great options right here, depending on what you like. Over here, we have a Mountain View seed blend right here. I got this at Tuckahoe Turf Farms in Hamilton, New Jersey. They use this right in their sod farm, which is really great because you know they're not gonna put down cheap grass seed. They're gonna put down quality grass seed in their sod farm that they're distributing out to the country. Um, so this is a 90% tall fescue blend and a 10% Kentucky bluegrass. It's blue tag certified. Um, Mountain View Seed, they do very rigorous tests to get that blue tag certified so you know that you're gonna have a great germination rate. There's 0% weed in here, so there's no weed seeds in here, which is really great as well. Over here, we have the Barenbrug RPR. It's a perennial ryegrass, but it's a regenerating perennial ryegrass, meaning it's like Kentucky bluegrass and it can spread through rhyme zones in the ground. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put this in the main front of my house uh, over here, the tall fescue blend, and then over here with the RPR, I'm going to be putting this in my backyard. Um, my backyard's small. Um, I don't have it irrigated, um, so I plan on just planting this out back there. Um, I usually keep it very short, so that's what you know perennial ryegrass likes. So we're going to try this out this year by Barenbrug here, the RPR. Um, I've heard really great things about Barenbrug as a brand. Again, they do a lot of testing as well with their grass seed, so we're gonna throw this down in the back and we're gonna see how it does this year. So the second thing that you will need for a good successful overseed is obviously a good starter fertilizer. And that's what I have here for you. This is the Yard Mastery brand. It's this their version of their starter fertilizer. It's a 12-12-12. Obviously that middle number, the 12% phosphorus, that's what we really need to drive deep roots with new grass seed and that's what you have here. There's also, a, it's also packed with a bunch of micronutrients in here as well. Um, that's also spiked with their Bionite, and Bionite is a bio solid. It's a Malorganite version. Um, Malorganite obviously comes from Milwaukee. Theirs comes from South Florida, so that's spiked with that as well. So that's really cool about this fertilizer brand. Um, I love their brand. It's a DIY first mentality. Like a lot of us out there are DIYers. So check out this. I'll leave a product link below for this uh, starter fertilizer. And also, I did a cost comparison between their starter fertilizer and the big box store brands. Um, and the cost per application, you can't beat it. Um, you're getting a quality fertilizer. You're getting a great cost per application difference between a big box store and their brand. I'll leave a link above to the video that I did on that. So go check out that video. So that's step number two, a good quality starter fertilizer. So the sun's starting to come out now for step number three. So I had to throw my glasses on. But step three is very important, I believe, in getting good germination and getting good uh, turf growth from your grass seed that you'll be throwing down. So step three for me is a good biostimulant to put down. Um, I have a couple options here for you and how to put them down as well. Over here, we have air eight. I highly recommend you put this down, especially if you're not gonna do a mechanical aeration. Basically what air eight is, is a liquid version of aeration. 
Um, that's why it's called Air 8, obviously. You're going to be putting this down at 9 ounces per 1,000. Um, there's been a lot of studies out there that show that this works. Um, it's not just a gimmick. It does work. Um, I've used it out in my lawn, and that's actually why one of the reasons why I'm not doing a mechanical aeration this year. Um, I did one last year, but what I've noticed is that my soil has been very, um, hasn't been as compacted as since I've been using this. So it's great for water retention, for that water to go down into your soil. It breaks down those nutrients that you're going to be putting down on your soil, your starter fertilizer, so it really gets down into your soil. So go check this out. I'll leave a product link below for the aerate. So the next thing that I highly recommend that you put down is uh, RGS. Basically what RGS is, is a root growth stimulant. Um, it helps drive those deep roots when you first put down grass seed and just grass in, in put it in your grass in, throughout the season as well. Um, I put this down last year. I saw great results, good germination. So I highly recommend you get this as well. The recommended rate is three ounces per 1,000 when seeding. Um, this is a one gallon jug. Um, this will cover up to over 40,000 square feet. So a one gallon jug should last you a very long time. So that's the RGS in the Air 8. Like I said, Air 8, nine ounces per 1,000 is what you're gonna put down at the seeding time and three ounces per 1,000 for the RGS. Um, Yard Mastery also sells a blend here as well. It's called Spoon Juice. And essentially what Spoon Juice is, is it's R uh, RGS and Humic 12 combined. Um, obviously uh, Air 8 and uh, RGS has Humic in it. But if you're looking for a little bit of a combination of RGS and Humic, which is great for your soil as well, um, great for germination, uh, you can get this as well. Um, this is really great. I've been using this throughout the year. Um, it combines, obviously, RGS, like I said, and Humic 12. So if that's something that you're looking at, uh, check out the Spoon Juice. I'll leave a link below as well to where you can purchase this. One of the cool things this year is I teamed up with EasyFlow. EasyFlow sells a device here, it's a fertigation system. Basically what it does is you can fill up their device here with any kind of liquid fertilizer that you would like and it can be sprayed out in your yard via a hose or your sprinklers even and that's what I will be doing. I will probably be filling this up with the RGS. Um, it has a slow release so it will slowly uh, filter through my sprinkler system and spray out onto my yard. Um, I did a video on this, an uh, in-depth video of the uh, EasyFlow device, so I'll leave a link above and in the video description as well. So I highly check, recommend you check this out as a really cool device. It's a quality, really great made in the USA device. Um, it's really cool, so go check out that video. So obviously if you're going to be spraying out these liquid fertilizers, these biostimulants right here, you're going to need something to spray them out with. Um, I have really two great options right here. Um, obviously right here is your typical Hosen version, uh, your Hosen sprayer. This is made by Ortho. Um, these work really great. I've been using them since I've started my lawn care journey um, and I've had some problems with them. I've had some good things with them, but what the great thing about them are is they're ready, readily available in Home Depot and Lowe's. Um, you can get them on Amazon even as well. Um, if you don't wanna go to the store, you can get them delivered to your house. Um, they're cheap. Um, but they, they do work uh, pretty, I would say, fairly, fairly well. Um, but if you want to upgrade to something, uh, this backpack sprayer right here by Spraymate, this is their four gallon version. Um, it's, a, it's a really great uh, DIY friendly backpack sprayer. I did a comparison video between another sprayer and their sprayer. Um, so I'll leave a link above and below in the video description to that video. So go check that out. Um, it's a four gallon backpack sprayer, like I said. Um, the price point right now, I think it's $150 on their website. So it's a very affordable backpack sprayer for the uh, average uh, DIYer, the homeowner. So if you are looking to upgrade, check this out. But like I said, you can't go wrong with the hose end sprayers. Um, you know, like, like I said, Home Depot, Lowe's, probably even Menard sells them, and Amazon, of course. Um, so you can't go wrong with either option to spray out these liquid fertilizers in your yard. Step four is a very important part if you want just a little bit of an insurance policy when you put down that grass seed. Um, that grass seed, you know, a lot of quality grass seed out there is not cheap. Um, the grass seed that I'll be using, especially the Mountain View, I believe it's at a price point of like about $134, $135. So that's a good decent amount and that's for a 50 pound bag. Um, I only need 50 pounds for my yard, um, but if you need more, um, what I highly recommend is, and this is step number four, is put down a peat moss top dressing. And why I say to put down a peat moss top dressing is because it holds moisture in the ground. So like I said, peat moss is a great insurance policy 
Um, after watching this video, I would recommend going out and getting it now. Um, it goes very quickly, especially in my area during the fall overseas time. Um, it was very hard to find. I only needed a couple more bags last year, and I had to go around to like four or five different Lowe's and Home Depot's to find a couple more bags of peat moss last year over Labor Day weekend last year. So I highly recommend you go get it. Um, it's a great uh, organic matter to put into your soil as well. It's OMRI listed, which means it's organic. Um, it's a great top dressing, like I said. It'll hold that moisture in the ground. So it's a great insurance policy. So please go check out the peat moss in your area and get it if that's something that you would like to put down for an insurance policy as well. So as you can see here, I purchased this myself. Uh, I'm not paid to say, I did purchase this device myself. This is the Lanzi peat moss spreader. Um, it is $250. It is a little bit of a, you know, it's a, a pretty high uh, price point, but I believe it is a good investment if you're gonna be doing overseeds every year or some kind of top dressing uh, as well on your lawn throughout the year. Um, so like I said, $250, but it's made very nice. It is power coated. What's really nice is that this cage here, um, it holds those big clumps, those big, you know, rooted clumps that you can get out of peat moss and it keeps it in here and then you can just toss it away. And also, I did do a video on how many bags of peat moss you would need uh, with the 24 inch peat moss spreader right here to put out in your yard. Um, I calculated I would need 15 bags with the 24 inch peat moss spreader right here to put out in my yard. So in short, that calculation turned out to be 2.3 bags of the three cubic feet bag this is what this bag is here three cubic feet bag so 2.31 three cubic feet bags equals about a thousand square feet in the 24 inch peat moss spreader um, but like I said I'll leave a link below in the video description and above to that video as well so go check that out if you will be purchasing the Lanzi peat moss spreader it will make your life a lot easier on knowing how many bags of peat moss you will need and step number five is a simple one. I have nothing on the table here. It's one simple thing, water. You need water for good germination. And when I say water, you need to water frequently. You need to keep that soil moist until you get a germination in your grass. Um, like as you can see on my shirt, grass, it's always greener if you water it. So please, if you're gonna invest all this time and money and effort make sure you water and you keep your soil moist it's so important especially if you we do if you get some heat spells throughout your fall overseed time when you throw your grass seed down you need to keep that soil moist so those seeds can germinate so that is the five things that i will be doing for my fall overseed and that i encourage you at home to do as well again let's recap the five things uh, number one obviously you want a good quality grass seed i gave you two great options here today so go check them out in the video description below. Number two, you want a good quality starter fertilizer. I gave you a great option here today by Yard Mastery. They're 12, 12, 12, they're blend. You can't go wrong with their brand. So number three, you want good biostimulants to put down as well. I gave you good options here today on what biostimulants you should put down and also how to spray them down as well. So again, check out those uh, product links below for those options. Number four, peat moss. I highly recommend you put that down on top of your grass seed. Like I said, it's just that little bit of insurance policy so that you're going to get good germination in your grass. And number five, water. I can't harp on it enough, but you need to water. You don't want to put down all that money and effort into your grass seed, your starter fertilizers and everything and not water. And I recommend you water three to four times per day until you see germination in your grass. You don't want to waste all that money and effort i keep saying it but you don't want to waste your money and your effort and not water it's very important especially if you go through heat spells you got to keep that soil moist and believe me if you water enough you're going to get good germination and you're going to get a good lawn at the end of the day if you have any questions concerns or comments please comment below and i will get back to you but everything that i did here today is a recommendation you do not have to do exactly what i'm doing um, this is just what i'm doing this is what i recommend that a lot of people at home do. It's just my recommendation, my opinion. Everyone, believe me, everyone has a different budget out there. I know everyone can't afford everything. Um, so if you can if you can budget for everything that I showed you here today, that's great. But believe me, you don't have to do exactly what I do. Um, I've had great results in my past from what I've done. So that's why I wanna show you what I have done. So please, like I said, it's a recommendation. It's my opinion. 
but I highly recommend you check out the different products I showed you today if you want a good quality lawn in the fall overseed. If you found today's content helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm so other people can find my channel, they can find this video. And if you're interested in building your own DIY level lawn rake or level tool, check out this video right here. I made one myself. I will be using it this upcoming weekend. And also, if you're new, please consider subscribing and hit that subscribe button right here so you don't miss out on future content. And I'll see you in the next one.